Hello guys, this is Pablo from PrintFoldTech.com and this video I just want to show you a quick tour of the uh, Windows 10 build 10 158. There is quite a few changes since the uh, last official release which was the uh, 10 130. So let's get let's get right into the new changes. So like always I'm going to start with the uh, with the start menu and as you can see now it's a lot smoother smoother and faster than before. Now we don't have to click like three times and wait in order to see the uh, the menu to uh, to pop up and now we're going to see that uh, each of the uh, folder locations now they have their own icons and we don't see the uh, happy uh, face placeholder anymore which is uh, really really nice we're also going to see on this build that uh, the all apps has a new icon right there as you can see and if we go to all apps now we can actually uh, highlight the uh, the letter and if we click on that we can go to uh, to this alphabetical order um, you know to the, to these letters and we can actually click the letters and go to the list of apps that start with that letter like if we click G we can get we get right into G and so we can access those uh, those apps right there so which is it makes uh, getting to apps really uh, really quick and I, I don't know if you can see but the uh, the animation also has been updated as you can see right there uh, okay so um, another change that's going on is happening on the uh, on the live tiles and as you can see now live tiles they have uh, smaller icons where it actually fit with the uh, with the size of the tiles and now we can also see that calendar, mail, music, movies and TV, photos get on, um, get started and even even the uh, the store uh, they have new uh, new icons. There is a few new icons too for the um, uh, Microsoft apps and that that uh, we can see the, uh, those new icons on the camera contact support and calculator alarms and pretty much all the um, the apps that Microsoft uh, has to offer they have uh, updated icons alright so uh, we're going to see also that the store doesn't have uh, uh, the um, uh, the beta label anymore so this is uh, Microsoft um, is removing the uh, the label and make it the um, the official uh, Windows um, Windows Store to like get the apps and no major changes on on the store but as you can see we used to have a different um, uh, feature uh, layout and now we can see that you know it focuses on, on one single app and this carousel we can just move through the uh, through the uh, through the app uh, through the apps so which is really nice uh, there's no more changes here we can go to settings and click uh, uh, update uh, apps automatically and other settings but um, those settings were there before uh, been there before for a long time so nothing changed nothing must change on the uh, on the store app alright so um, we're also going to see that the same icons, icons that you see on the uh, on the light tiles now appear representing the app on the um, on the taskbar and as you can see we they, they don't have a uh, tile background like you see in this now you know all app and that's you know it might change on the future and, and developers m may start using this type of uh, icons which which actually looks really nice and also the uh, the store the store app has a new icon right here like as you can see on the taskbar, but the uh, Microsoft Edge browser, which we're going to see later on, uh, now it, this one doesn't have actually um, a white icon; it's it's blue. All right, so let's move on to other changes, and now we can see the uh, show and uh, hidden icons button has been updated with a with a new arrow icon, and we see a new uh, keyboard uh, icon as well. And if we go to the uh, uh, date and time, we can see that also has been updated since the uh, uh, build 10 uh, 130. And if we uh, with the uh, with the blur, and it actually now takes the the color from the uh, from the uh, uh, from the Windows theme. 
and if we click the uh, data and time settings we're actually going to get to the um, date, um, date and time settings on the settings app which before it would just open uh, the settings app and nothing else and you have to manually go to this uh, place so all right so um, let's uh, let's keep uh, moving on with other changes and uh, we're going to see additional changes on on Cortana now we can see that the um, uh, that the left rail has been consolidated and now there is no many options but you we can find everything in here uh, Microsoft is um, has been combined the profiles in and experience all, in, all into the uh, notebook and this is pretty much um, completed and now we can just instead of going to settings we go to actual notebook and from there we can access uh, different uh, type of settings and things about uh, you that knows about about information that knows Cortana knows about you so we can actually also access to different preference that you can turn on or off as, as you like and if we go to settings now we're going to see that uh, you can uh, enable or disable the uh, Hey Cortana uh, feature but also Microsoft is adding to how Cortana responds if it responds to you or to uh, anyone on the room so um, by default is said to uh, to respond to anyone but if you do the uh, the training so you can help Cortana to learn your voice so you can choose to respond to Hey Cortana only when you ask Microsoft also is uh, enabling uh, tracking information for flights and and other services and that actually works so Cortana can remind you if you get uh, different notifications from from flights or or package information uh, Cortana will be able to pop up and tell you uh, the information about uh, the particular event and also there is a uh, taskbar uh, um, tidbits that lets Cortana to appear from time to time uh, with thoughts and greetings on the search box so like if you want Cortana to be uh, uh, telling you new stuff or just you know Cortana being Cortana you can just leave this on and you can turn this on and she will not bother you so that's basically it uh, for the uh, new settings on Cortana let me, let me just uh, click the alert my voice I don't have the um, I'm using a virtual machine so I don't have the Microsoft um, the microphone uh, set up so okay. this, this is not Let's gonna work Say this phrase first. hey Cortana oh actually it's working Hey Cortana, do I have anything on Wednesday? Got it. Here's the next one. Hey Cortana, what's the traffic like on the way to work? Now here's another. Hey Cortana, what's the cheapest um, pizza place that's open now? Say this one again. All right, as you can see, like you know, you can just go through the uh, through the steps, and she will learn your behavior and understand uh, who is talking and and you can change that setting now. all right so um, oh also the um, I don't know if you noticed but we've seen this before but now we can see in Cortana she has a, um, a dark background uh, dark background which is uh, really nice and matches with uh, with the theme with the dark theme that we'll see now throughout the uh, to, through the operating system. Uh, also, another thing you can do uh, with Cortana now is that uh, now you can uh, tell her to uh, send email. So you can you can say email somebody, and you just type the message, and she will send that information uh, right in. So that's a really nice new feature on on this new bill, and we're gonna we're gonna keep seeing. Uh, new features coming almost in the daily basis so Cortana will keep learning more and more as Microsoft doesn't have to update different computers because everything is working on the uh, on the cloud uh, with all the servers on the cloud so it doesn't have to update any any bits on the operating system for the users alright so uh, let's move on to the uh, to the Action Center and the Action Center 
hasn't changed much since last time we uh, saw it but now let's just uh, get a reminder what's uh, what's new now it looks more complete and now we get a third row of uh, quick access button and now we get also uh, a button to access OneNote if you have it installed I think it comes bundled with um, when you install the operating system so so you don't have to uh, do anything just sign in with your Microsoft account alright so uh, and we're gonna see new icons for uh, tablet mode uh, okay node and connect and quiet hours and this is pretty much how the um, the action center looks like and that's how it's going to look like and actually it's pretty good and pretty useful so I'm looking forward to to use the um, the action center and, and the daily basis so that's really nice now we're going uh, we're going to move to the uh, to tablet mode which uh, Microsoft is adding a few new changes there is a new animation uh, going on and I can't you can't see it really well here because uh, this is a virtual machine and things might not work exactly as expected but there is some animations when you move in and now of the uh, of this feature now we're also going to see that Microsoft is adding a new power uh, button and the uh, all apps buttons right here on the bottom and we can we can still see the hamburger uh, menu button right here that then uh, will access the uh, the left side of the um, uh, of the uh, start menu and if we actually if we use the all apps button it will open right to the uh, all apps and we don't have to make the trip to like come here and open the uh, this side of the uh, the menu and then click all apps so it's like we get access to like get to the uh, to the apps and uh, there's some refinements on the uh, on how it looks I, I don't know if you can see the difference like if you saw the um if you had the chance to watch my previous video uh, it didn't look quite as well and as it, it looks right now also I don't know if you noticed but the um, the left side I don't know if I said it but uh, it takes the um the left side now takes the, the color from uh, from the window theme as well so whatever color you change it will change this color right here too all right, so uh, let's move on. Oh, also, I just want to mention that um, that on Bill ten one uh, five eight, Microsoft is also adding a, a better support, improving support for uh, Windows uh, eight and eight one apps and classic apps when we are on tablet mode. So it should it should work better. And now we can swipe from the left. In, and we can access to the uh, uh, to the all apps. All right, so that's basically what's new on this section. And now we're just gonna get out of uh, tablet mode, and we're going to move to the um, to settings. On settings, there is no a lot um, must, uh, much that has changed. But if you um, haven't seen. Uh, the leak uh, version of the operating system and you still with the um, uh, build uh, 10.1.3.0 uh, you're going to see quite a few new improvements uh, for example if we go to the uh, system and now we go to storage we're going to see that uh, Microsoft previously added an option that uh, led us to uh, that allowed us to uh, uh, change the location where to install new apps and that seems as being grayed out right now so uh, it appears I want to assume that uh, this feature won't, won't be available for launch and it will be uh, available later on in a different update so but we can change if we want to save uh, uh, documents or other files to uh, different locations if you have a different storage uh, location if we go to apps and features uh, also we still can move apps to a different look uh, uh, to a different uh, storage either so it seems there's something going on there's no allow it's not allowing Microsoft to actually uh, enable this feature so in a feature in a future update we might uh, see that so as you can see also well we move between 
between uh, pages and different sections you see there is a new effect which was which we've seen before but now it's a uh, now it's coming officially to uh, to this bill and now everybody can use it and it actually it's really really nice all right so uh, another change that's going on 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 a star on a start now has um, the amount of customization that we can do has been uh, minimized to only four options before we had a uh, uh, more options that we can change to change uh, advertise uh, advertisement that shows up on the uh, on the start menu and other things now we can only do the uh, show the uh, most used apps show, show recently added apps use the um, this is the the tablet mode and use the um, actually just not tablet mode it's the uh, just to use the start menu on full screen and we can also change the uh, the items that we want to appear on this menu right here so like if we click choose which folders to appear and start we come here and we just uncheck because we had like too many and then when you go back you see that the uh, the amount of locations and buttons has uh, been updated and now we only see file explorer settings and power power is not part of these things so you can change just the uh, file explorer and settings in this case all right so um, if we go to let me see if I can go to account if we go to uh, the accounts and, and sign in options we don't see it anymore any trace of uh, Windows Hello, which is a new feature on Windows 10 that allows us to uh, log in without using a password. But it, what it seems like is that the feature will not appear if you don't have the hardware. And because I'm using a virtual machine, that's not available to me. So um, that's not that's not a, an option on on this bill. Uh, also, uh, there is some changes on the privacy. In privacy, we can see that um, now we have the background apps. We've seen this before, but now it's of, now it's official, and we have uh, uh, to to con you we can control the apps that run on the background. And the uh, feedback section has been updated to feedback and diagnostic. They they just changed the uh, the name. Another big change is happening on other devices, where Microsoft is adding. Uh, different features we can we can sync uh, with devices we can enable that on and off uh, we can let Windows uh, use uh, trusted devices like uh, Xbox one TVs and projectors and like Windows phone that uh, or let apps use your uh, Windows phone we can enable this on and off and as you can see, things are not working quite right yet because you can see the uh, this, this set in the settings repeated right there. And we can also see that we can let uh, apps use the external uh, external storage if they need to. And in this example, I'm going to show you uh, later on. But you know, we also have the Microsoft uh, Phone uh, Companion app that uh, you know that is asking for that permission. And again, we see the uh, Windows Phone popping up again right right down there. So this is like under development, and things will going will, will will change. And before I, I got confused, and basically when it says I use trusted devices, is to let apps actually use trusted uh, trusted devices, not actual uh, Windows 10. So I just wanted to clarify that. In general, uh, the um, Everything is still the same, but uh, there is one option that it was right here that that allowed uh, users to uh, show uh, show tips uh, uh, for Windows, but it's not here anymore. So I don't know if that has been removed or that's going to change in the future, or has been relocated, or, or what's what's going on. I don't know that yet, but uh, that feature has been removed as well. So now if we uh, go to the uh, update windows update if we click the uh, advanced options we don't have any more the options to uh, that allowed us to try new features if we want to get into the AV test uh, for uh, for Microsoft to test new features that disappear in here 
and if we click the uh, stop insider in insider bills we can click that and we're gonna get a pop-up but as you can see it's not stopping us uh, it's not stopping this computer for getting new updates instead we can click the uh, uh, how do I opt my device out of the uh, insider's bill and that takes us to a uh, page online with different instructions on how to do that before this link wasn't working it wasn't taking us anywhere but now it's working so we can see some instruction right there but they're not quite yet ready so I wouldn't count on this uh, on these instructions to uh, to opt out of the uh, of our, um, a bill of Windows 10 so we can close that and let me see what else it's it's going on uh, we've seen this before but we can we don't see the uh, the uh, the pin button right here to pin a setting on a star but we can actually now right click the uh, this, uh, the settings page and click pin to star let me see if that works pin to star let me see if that appears there you go that's the uh, that's the Windows update which uh, I, it looks all right, I guess. All right, so uh, let's let's move on with the other changes. Now, before I get out of the um, of the settings app, I want to show you that um, that there are new changes. At least Microsoft is updating and matching how the title bar bar looks when you're using a Windows app like this one or the uh, desktop environment right here now you can see that the um, the, the buttons they are the same size than before but if we maximize this and uh, we, we can see now that it continues to be different so Microsoft has to keep updating and, and be changing tweaking things instead of uh, um, this build to like get everything ready so that's that's another thing going on uh, it, that's going on on this build also we've seen this before but uh, it's new to the um, to the Windows 10 158 and now we can see the display settings and personality has new icons and we can also see that uh, there is a new arrow with, it's, it's a bigger uh, arrow and thinner and new check marks uh, icons so and now they align more to to all the uh, icons that we see like right here now it looks more integrated and now it looks more that the uh, the desktop environment and the mo modern environments is coming is coming together but if uh, we go for example to the uh, control panel we're going to see that there is uh, new icons but if we go to uh, to see like a menu we'll see that it's not consistent with the menu that we see right here with the white menu but that's going to change later as you can see now this is it's not the same but it's still similar to what we used to see in Windows 7 if we change this to large we can see the highlighting also get us to uh, when we highlight the uh, the item it shows that a uh, blue uh, background color on on selection but it's not the same throughout the operating system all right all right so uh, we've seen pretty much all the changes going on inside of the operating system but we can still see some uh, other uh, changes going on 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 the apps on on this bill Microsoft is updating uh, the uh, Photos app and as you can see we now can let me see if I can find let me just click here if we go to that image we can now use the open with button and that let us choose other apps where we can open and modify or do anything with the uh, with that image and we can also you know use here yeah, always use this app to open JPEG if that is not as a default that app is not as a uh, default so that's really nice and uh, Microsoft also said that um, uh, the uh, photos apps now support GIFs 
uh, images and there is some uh, updates for performance and and everything is, it should work better uh, with this uh, with this app um, we also going to see that uh, the insider hub is no longer is no longer available the insider hub is not it's not available anymore but if we go to let me see if I can recall how to do this but if you go to I think it was system and I think it was like additional features manage optional features and see option of feature history let's click on add a feature let's see what's, what's, what's going to happen here let me see if I can find it inside a hub app so you see right now that's an additional feature we can click and install that and that should be that should install it that should enable let me see if I can find it now insider oh, I guess it's not there yet it might take a little while oh as you can see the uh, the flip 3d I don't know if you should saw you can rewind the uh, the video but not the uh, flip 3d um, animation is back so I guess Microsoft uh, up, up in to have that included so let me see if uh, now it's already installed Insider Hub you see right here it's installed that's new so we can click that and it will get us ah, this is a new icon too so alright so you know how that works so I'm not gonna show you that right now so we're gonna click that and we're going to see also that uh, Microsoft is rebranding a new app and it's installed by default which is the uh, Microsoft Wi-Fi and this basically is the uh, Skype uh, Wi-Fi um, app which Microsoft rebranded into Microsoft Wi-Fi and allows to and allows users to find uh, a different hotspot and connect and pay if uh, they have to but they can connect uh, and they can connect online securely uh, using this um, this app all right so uh, that's at this time it's not working so so there is no much we can see uh, on the uh, on this app contact uh, contact support is also another app that has been updated and now it's working let me see if I can contact support right here so you can actually contact Microsoft And you know, get the uh, uh, um, get support from uh, from apps or devices, and you can control your accounts and bills right there too. For Skype, Skype, Xbox, Windows Phone, and other things, and you can actually get Windows support, and you can call support, or you can chat with support, which is really nice, and it's working. So, like, if you need. Uh, support right now I don't know if they can give you Windows 10 support right now because this is a pre-release uh, version but you can actually contact Microsoft this way uh, this way I, I actually in the past I tried to contact uh, contact Microsoft through the phone using this app and it actually worked so don't just play with it just you know if you have a problem you can use this one all right so um, now let's uh, let's let me show you the uh, the new uh, phone companion app, which pretty much is a big thing on on this on this bill. Let me see if uh, phone companion app. Before we seen this, but it wasn't working, and now it is. And as you can see, also you can see the the apps that take the uh, title uh, the title bar now actually uh, takes the color from the uh, Windows theme as well. And as you can see right now, like let me let me show you right now, really quick. If we, I should have clicked personalize right here. If we change the, uh, the color, let me see if the, I'm gonna click it. And let's uh, go to the uh, phone opening app. 
and it should take the uh, you can see it's already taken the color and you know, I took the color off the uh, thing so that would be really nice if actual um, developers can build their apps uh, and allow the app to actually take the uh, the color that would be really nice so this is the um, the phone companion app and basically what, what allows us to connect any phone either Windows, Android, iPhone or iPad and make it more connected to Windows 10. If you're using a Windows phone there is nothing you have to do because all the features are already enabled but if you're using you, know, you can see right now you know like you can just click through it and, and you will get a brief description of, of, of the stuff that you can do with it but if you go to Android for example now we can get started and get Microsoft um, to help us to get some of the services on our Windows phone so like for example you can get office and as you can see you can it's asking me like if that's my it's my account and I click yes and I have a phone so I'm gonna click that and I'm gonna click next and it's gonna give me a link so I can install the office from from Google Play or you can send me uh, an email with the link so that's that's really nice so it's not that it's automatic it's going to install the apps on on your phone but you can actually get easier uh, connect uh, get your uh, the microservice connected to uh, to Windows 10 and you can do like a bunch of uh, new uh, services that you can connect and you also see that we know this by now that Cortana is going to be part uh, of, um, of a, it's going to be an app that is going to be available for Android and iPhone and iPad but it's still not ready so it's coming soon the same for the uh, music app but those are coming on the future and pretty soon actually alright so like if we go to the iPhone and iPad we're gonna see the same exactly same thing but it, going through the process it will ask us to go through the um, uh, through the Apple App Store so that's pretty much everything that's going on with uh, let me see if I can connect also my phone my Windows phone let's see if that actually connects alright so it connected Plug in my Windows phone, you see it appears right here, and if we go, it shows the uh, the phone and how the storage has been used, and we can actually import photos and video and transfer files using Windows Explorer, which is which is really nice. It's it's one place to connect the phone and, and get all things set up and, and connected with Windows 10. All right, so um, uh, as we get closer to the end of the, this video tour we're going to see the uh, new changes on Microsoft Edge alright so this is what's going on 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 build 10 158 Microsoft is actually renaming from Project Spartan to Microsoft Edge so that's that's a, that's a big uh, big deal for the company doing this now we heard before and we've seen before in different leaks that uh, Microsoft Edge was already part of the operating system but this, this is official and everybody now can get uh, can get using the actual Microsoft Edge uh, because the uh, is because they're changing the name they're, all, they're also changing the app ID so if you had saved any um, any links, favorites, history, written list items they will uh, get deleted and it will disappear from Microsoft Edge after the upgrade if you're coming from a different bill so make sure that you back them up if you want to have them on, on this bill and then you can import them later on um, on this bill we're going to see that uh, we can go to settings and now we have a dark theme we can pin the settings to to the uh, uh, right side we've seen that before but uh, this is new to the uh, uh, to this bill officially because we they, again we've seen this before uh, let me change this back we also have a tools that, it, that allow us to import favorites in, uh, from another browser and we have an open with options that we can change how to you know open uh, um, uh, the edge browser and to, to a previous page a specific page or pages so you can add that and you can change the uh, reading style and we can actually go to the uh, advanced settings and we can actually now have a home button 
right there so we can add that that was a highly requested feature that uh, Windows Insider requested and now we can also set the uh, uh, the home page so like if you if you don't like Bing you can use let me see if I can do google.com and save it and then we just click that and it should go to Google right there so I uh, still on this bill you can change the actual you can actually see the um, search provider but you can not actually change that anything you can change that but that will happen in the future uh, okay so uh, another big change is you can you can save and manage uh, your passwords online I don't have that uh, nothing going on in here but you can actually do that and Microsoft also added so you can uh, the options to save entries or forms when you're online uh, that's basically pretty much pretty much it oh you can you can disable Cortana on this bill again which that wasn't um, it was like Microsoft enable and disable that a bunch of times but th now you can actually enable or disable that to help you when you are using the uh, the address bar um, when you if you have multiple tabs open and you try to close it you will see now that uh, you get the um, the notification if the warning that you, you that you're about to close all the um, all the tabs so you can close that we can actually drag and drop and create a new window with the tabs but we can still let me see we can we can actually get it back when we actually trying to like get it out it will actually want to create another another tab so we can uh, put it back and we can do that actually on on uh, on Chrome and other oh, oops Cortana's listening to me you don't like Chrome um, okay Cortana okay so um like, like you can do in Chrome, you can actually you know take out of. Uh, let me see if I can show you really quick. We can take the tab out, but we can actually get it back in, and we can do that on Edge right now. But it, that might change on the. Uh, on the future. Also, you're gonna see a new icon for reading list, and now we don't see the feedback button, but we get the share button right here, so we can share uh, our pages uh, on on social networks and and using other forms. Um, all right, so um, basically that's pretty much all that's uh, new on this bill. Microsoft also has fixed um, a lot of issues. Now there is uh, there is no non issues on this bill, which is really great. The performance it's 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 amazing, and I, I know that different people are going to have different opinions and different experiences. But you know, it's it's a lot better than before. Microsoft uh, finally also fixed uh, different issues to improve the performance on Surface Pro 3 battery life, and now those owners with a Surface 3 can actually upgrade uh, without issues on uh, on using this build. So that's pretty much everything that's new and I hope this video was informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.